right back at you. Uh. Do you want to do that really quick? Yeah, if you want to. Well, if you don't want to, I'm not going to do it. I'm down for whatever. Eat our cookie. Sears? Yeah, it's straight ahead. Okay. Can we just leave our car there? Yeah. Okay. I'd like to dedicate that lunch to Joe Pastrami, inventor of the sandwich. You meant a lot of things to a lot of people, but to me, you meant breakfast. I love you, Joe. I love your meat. <laughs> Is it just me? Or does Sears make people sad? Mopey Melissa's. Aaron, where's the keys? Where? I found them. Every day. I did not know there was a Starbucks there. When did they open that? Like a few weeks ago. What? Um, can I get two venti iced coffees? Um, both with no sugar and one with half and half? thing about the creative work that I have to do, the writing that I do every week, is it's never really done. So I usually come up with an outline for what I'm going to talk about over the weekend uh, by Monday morning, Tuesday morning at the latest. And I think about it all week. And I come up with stories and illustrations and explanations for things. And I kind of basically have different pieces that then by the end of the weekend I've arranged in a way that I think helps explain what's going on or helps um, make a point or helps people figure out you know what what's going on um, but so I'm, I've been basically done for the last three days but every time I think about it I want to take a piece and move it um, and rearrange things or try to figure out how to explain something better so it's tough because the, like the one main thing I do every single week, I'm never really done with it until I'm done saying it. I think about it even when I'm speaking it. I wonder, is this the next thing that I'm going to say? Is that really what I'm going to say or am I going to say it in a different way? Um, so that's what's tough with the week is this thing that's kind of always there and hanging over me. I It's the one thing during the week that I can't just cross off the list and say, I did that. I'm done with that. Um, I don't know if it's always going to be that way, but for the last, I don't know, five, six years, it's always been that way. There, There's a point every Saturday where I have to just say, I'm done, and I'm going to I'm gonna think about something else, I'm going to do something else. Um, I usually get to church on Sunday mornings a couple hours before everything starts, and I do the same thing. I kind of obsess about this. I, I keep reading. I keep, um, I say it out loud in a number of different ways to to figure out which way sounds better to me or sounds like it's going to communicate better to me. And what's funny about it is no matter how much I prepare, I'm tempted even in the moment while I'm saying it to, to still change it, to still tweak it. And sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. 
but I found that if I don't pick a time to say I'm gonna st I'm gonna pause this and do something else, I will work on this all day, all night, all morning tomorrow. Um, there's a sense in which what I'm trying to do every weekend is so outside my realm of ability. Like, how can I actually say that that what I've written is good <laughs> or is enough? Um, but at some point I just have to say it's good enough. I'm gonna go get my hair cut. Whenever I go to the barber, I ask them for the Miles Plumley, but I always end up getting the Jim Gaffigan. I'm sure it doesn't have anything to do with the size and shape of my head. It's kind of dark in the car, so you're gonna have to wait till I get home to see what it looks like. But I will say, dude's name is Jabir, goes by Jim. He's been in Phoenix longer than I have, but not only did I not get the Gaffigan, but I got the straight razor, hot towel, aftershave treatment thing, and dude crushed it, and now I smell like the 1950s. Arizona's so weird. All right, it's 10.30, so I'm gonna obsess over my sermon for about two hours and then hit the hay. God bless you guys, I'll see you tomorrow.